After nursing a sick mother for a while, Kathy Karanja felt the need to get her parents' accommodation whenever she sought medical attention in the city and a furnished apartment would come in handy. We had to put her in a furnished apartment and I learned quite a lot from that. Being an interior designer, she had always yearned to have a platform to showcase her work and needed to look no further than the apartments she had purchased together with her husband and converted them to furnished apartments. But for that guest who would come, I wanted to have a home, uh, away from home feeling. With the upsurge in demand for furnished apartments, Washuka knows that hotels cannot help but cushion themselves to ensure that they remain relevant. What most hotels have done, including us as the Boma, is uh, going to the market with different rates uh, that serves clients who are staying for a long time. So for example, if you have a client who is staying uh, maybe for two weeks or maybe three weeks, you go uh, to the client, you approach the, the client with different rates such that they're discounted and attractive for them to come and stay with you. Even as hotels put up their serviced apartments with a view to countering the competition from independent furnished apartments, the decision lies squarely with the client whether to stay in a hotel or not. When I'm with my family, it, it's more suitable because uh, it gives you the choice of a more cost-effective break with your family rather than having to go and use a hotel and its um, high-end or high-cost meal options. In Nairobi, the serviced apartments are common in high-end areas such as Kilimani and Westlands owing to the United Nations security zoning. This is because most clients of serviced apartments are expatriates and Kenyans living abroad. Researchers from Site on Investment, the company behind the survey on serviced apartments, explain the reasons for preference of serviced apartments over hotels. If you compare in terms of price range, like a hotel, maybe a three-star hotel, you'd get for one night maybe at about 13,000, 11,000, yet that's what you'd get for a serviced apartment, maybe, that's a one bedroom. So you have more space, you have a homely feel, you have a kitchen, you have a living room, and you're paying either the same or less than that amount. This kind of business, however, is capital intensive, as Kathy explains, even as she attributes the growth of her business to referrals. It's costly to start uh, this business, uh, but again, it depends with what you want to put there. The furnished houses come in different designs, depending on the taste and outlay of the investor. Kathy, who says she has since recouped her investment, takes us through the projections for the business. My dream is to come up with a fully furnished apartment that uh, will cater for patients, recovery patients and waiting patients, their loved ones and uh, also caregivers. While entrepreneurs change with changing times, industry players are calling for the government's intervention in ensuring that accommodation is well regulated to offer a level playing field for all the service providers. Karoga Mwangi, Switch TV.